Hi, this is Andrei Yershov of Medicine of Changes. Today I would like to talk to you about my best acupuncture points to treat stomach. I will also share my go-to acupuncture protocol that you can use right away in your clinic for any digestive complaint related to the stomach with excellent results. But first, let us speak a little bit about stomach physiology as we perceive it in acupuncture. The stomach is considered the most important of all yang organs. Along with the spleen, this pair is known as the root of postnatal qi because they are the origin of qi and blood produced after birth. The kidneys represent prehaven qi, which is received at conception. By the way, prenatal or prehaven and postnatal or posthaven refers to two bagua formations. Prehaven or xian tian bagua is the earliest formation that we attribute to fu xi. Now, fu xi is an archetypal hero of Chinese culture. He is credited with creating humanity, the invention of music, hunting, fishing, domestication of animals, cooking, and creating a system of writing of Chinese characters. Therefore, we can say that Prehaven Bagua is ancient. It is as old as humanity itself. There is a lot to be said about this formation. Still, for now, I want you to know that we use this formation to construct treatment protocols concerning eight extraordinary vessels. It makes sense because extraordinary vessels deal with the constitutional issues, the prehaven qi. The second formation we call the post-haven or later haven, Ho Tian Bagua. We attribute this formation to King Wen of Zhou Dynasty, Zhou Wang Wang. Zhou Dynasty existed from 1112 to 1050 years before the Common Era. We use King Wen's Bagua formation to express the physiology of the 12 regular channels and their related organs. 12 channels circulate nutritive and protective qi. Both of these qi rely on the food and drink that, that the body receives. In this formation, you can see that the lower trigram is Kan, that is associated with the stomach, and the top trigram is Li. This trigram is associated with the spleen. So you can see that the stomach and spleen occupy a central role in this physiological model. Now, let us go back to the functions of the stomach organ. There are five primary functions of the stomach. The stomach controls receiving. The stomach controls descending of qi. The stomach assists the spleen in extracting and transporting food essences. The stomach controls the rotting and ripening of food. And the stomach is the origin of fluids. Let me explain. When we say the stomach controls receiving, we mean that food and drink enter the mouth and reach the stomach. The stomach receives food and drink and keeps them down. The stomach does not allow for the food to come back up. This function of receiving also relates to the appetite. A good healthy appetite is indicative of a strong function of stomach receiving. A poor appetite or a total absence of hunger is indicative of the weak stomach receiving function. Stomach 36 is the earth point on the earth channel. We call it true earth point. As such, it is the point of choice to enhance the receiving function of the stomach because it regulates central qi. It also harmonizes the intestines and descends counterflow. The following function of the stomach is that it controls qi descending. It sends transformed food down to the small intestine. If stomach qi descends, 
Digestion will be excellent. Failure to descend leads to food stagnation. The symptoms include feeling of fullness and distension, sour regurgitation, belching, hiccup, nausea and vomiting. As in the previous scenario, we can use stomach theory 6 to descend qi. We can also combine it with precardium 6 point, as this point down bears counterflow. It also stops vomiting and harmonizes the stomach and relieves pain. If stagnation turns into heat, we can use a water point on the stomach channel, stomach 44, because it promotes the free downbearing of the stomach qi. It also harmonizes the intestines and transforms stagnation. As a side note, harmonious liver qi helps the descending of stomach qi and assist digestion. Liver qi disharmony causes stagnation in the middle burner and it can interfere with the descending of stomach qi. To address this complication, we can add an earth point on the wood channel. Gallbladder 34 fits the description. As a H C point, it treats diseases of the bowels, and as an earth point on the wood channel, it treats earth, stomach, and wood, liver disharmony. If you feel that liver cheese stagnation needs more attention, we can combine gallbladder 34 and liver 3. This is the main combination to disperse liver chi. And when liver chi invades the stomach, the third point we can add is liver 14. But if liver chi invades the spleen, liver 13 is a better choice. However, stomach chi dissension has broader meaning than just descending of chi from the stomach to the small intestine. We already mentioned that the stomach pertains to the earth element, which occupies a central place within the five-phase diagram. The stomach and spleen form an energetic alliance. Let's go back for a moment to the hexagram 63. The yin phase of the Li trigram moves qi up and the yang water of the Kantai trigram moves qi down. Thus, spleen qi ascends and stomach qi descends. This process is crucial for the proper movement of qi in three burners. So we say that the stomach assists in the transportation of food essences. The stomach and the spleen are responsible for transporting food essences to the whole body, particularly the limbs. If the stomach chi is strong and can extract and transport food essences throughout the body, a person will feel strong and vital. If stomach chi is deficient, it will be unable to transport food essences and the person will feel tired and weak. We can choose spleen 3 to activate the spleen, since spleen 3 is the true earth point which means it's an earth point on the earth channel. Spleen 3 is also the spleen channel's source point. It can treat both the excess and deficiency patterns of the spleen and stomach. Spleen 3 is the point to choose to treat poor digestion. It also treats abdominal pain and vomiting. In addition, spleen controls flesh, so this point works well for patients who cannot gain muscle or have muscular atrophy. Next, let's speak about how the stomach controls the rotting and ripening of food. The stomach breaks down or transforms ingested food and drink. In Chinese medicine, we call this process rotting and ripening. It prepares food for the spleen to separate and extract the refined essences from food. At this point, I would like to introduce you to another very excellent point, spleen 6. This point supplements yin earth, which is spleen, and helps movement and transformation so that we can enhance the digestion process. Next, let's speak about the stomach's relationship to fluids. We say that the stomach is the origin of fluids. 
The stomach derives fluids from food and drink. The abundance of fluids is essential to the function of the stomach to rot and ripen food. Adequate stomach fluids warrant smooth digestion. Deficiency of stomach fluids manifests as dry mouth, chronic thirst, inability to taste food, and a midline crack. The stomach fluids have a close relation to the kidneys. There is an expression, the kidneys are the gate of the stomach because the kidneys transform fluids in the lower burner. Stagnation of fluids in the lower burner due to weak kidney chi may cause overflow of turbid fluids upwards to the stomach and cause impaired digestion. On the other hand, a chronic deficiency of stomach fluids may lead to a shortage of kidney yin. To enhance stomach's ability to generate fluids and maintain yin, we use points to strengthen stomach chi. However, if you want to generate stomach yin in constitutionally weak patients, we can tap into the extraordinary vessels system. Zhen Mai is the sea of yin, and we can need the lung seven. This point is the confluent point of the Zhen Mai. We can also tap into the points located on the trajectory of the Zhen Mai vessel directly. In particular, a branch of the stomach channel travels from Du 14 point internally, it crosses the diaphragm and connects to the Zhen vessel at Zhen 13 and Zhen 12 before joining the stomach and connecting to the spleen. We can combine Zhen 13 with another point, precardium 6 to promote downward movement of the stomach. Another useful combination is Zhen 12 and stomach 36. This combination helps to encourage digestion, especially when digestion is obstructed by phlegm. Finally, let us speak about the connection between the stomach and the large intestine. These two organs form a yang-ming connection and disharmony of the stomach may lead to the disharmony of the large intestine and vice versa. To promote the downbearing of stomach chi, we need to empty the bowels. Stomach 36, large intestine 4, san jiao 6 and liver 3 all work very well on emptying the bowels. Now, let us put this information into a treatment protocol. I like to use stomach 36, gallbladder 34, pericardium 6, lung 7 on one side, and then spleen 3, spleen 6, liver 3, large intestine 4, san jiao 6 on the opposite side, plus gen 12 on the midline. You don't need to use all of these acupuncture points in every case. You can always modify this prescription by either adding or subtracting points by following your patient's presentation. For example, if the patient complains of stabbing abdominal pain close to the midline, but on one side only, where the kidney channel is located, I would look for a needle tender points on the San Jiao and large intestine channel on the opposite side because both San Jiao and large intestine channels connect to the kidney channel. Similarly, you can use precardium or large intestine channels to treat symptoms along the stomach channel on the opposite side. You get the idea. One important principle to get in mind when forming an acupuncture presentation is the flow of qi. There are many ways we can connect acupuncture points. For example, my prescription connects the stomach channel with the large intestine and spleen channels because they follow one another in the qi sequence. The stomach channel also connects to the pericardium channel because Fu Yang Ming and Han Jiuyin channels connect. Once the pericardium channel is opened, it grants us access to the liver channel because 
the pericardium and liver channels are a joint pair. The large intestine channel gives us also access to the lung channel. So you can see all the channels and all the points in this prescription are connected into the sequence that allows for qi to flow freely. Most importantly, don't work from the memory. Monitor your patient's symptoms in real time. Needle and observe change. Remember, acupuncture works right away. So if you watch your patient's symptoms improve, you will know your treatment works. If not, then change your approach. Add points, subtract points. It should work right away. So this is all for today. Stay positive, stay focused, and stay in the moment. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below, and I'll be very happy to reply. And I'll see you next time.